everyone, welcome back. It's me, Miss Wada. Today I'm going to read a book for you, but before I tell you the title or the name of the book, I want you to take a look at the cover and make a prediction or a guess on what you think this book is going to be about. This book is called The Adventures of Gary and Harry, A Tale of Two Turtles. You can really hear that T and T sound, tail, two, and turtle. The story is by Lisa Matsumoto. That means that she is the author. The illustrations are by Michael Furuya. That means that he drew the pictures. He's the illustrator. You probably remember this page is called our title page because it says the title or the name of the book again. This page is called our dedication page and it says who the book is for. For my sisters Lori and Lee, thank you for your love, wisdom, and support, Lisa. You can really hear that L sound for Lori, Lee, Love, and Lisa. For Kobe and Cameron, just because, from Uncle Mike. Deep in the sparkling sea, Gary the green sea turtle and his best friend Harry the hawksbill turtle played in their ocean home. Each day they would swim to the surface up at the top and happily dive beneath or under the waves. Gary and Harry loved their carefree life in the sea and they liked to visit their many ocean friends like Olivia the octopus, Lori the lobster, and even Herman the grumpy old hermit crab, who is really nothing but a big softy under that crusty old shell. He's a hermit crab, just like our hermit crabs, Hermie and Mr. Krabs. For Gary and Harry, each day was a great underwater adventure. Some days they would explore deep into dark underwater caverns. A cavern is like a cave. Other days, they would search for long lost treasures buried deep in the holes of old sunken ships. So they're looking under the water at old boats that fell under the water. So look, it looks like he found some sort of jewel that's shining. When they wanted a good laugh, they would visit the crazy clown fishes. These are clown fishes who performed in Harold Harlequin Shrimp's Spectacular Sea Circus. That sounds like a lot of fun. One day, after their morning adventure, Gary and Harry were especially hungry. As always, it was difficult deciding what to have for lunch, since they had very different tastes in food. How about a salty seaweed salad made of fresh algae, said Gary. Algae, ugh, Harry replied, making a face. Ugh. I'd rather have a nice, tasty jellyfish. So sometimes friends don't like the same foods. They like to eat different foods, and that's okay. They can still be friends. His wish had been answered, for suddenly a school or a group of jellyfish floated by. Wow, look at all those jellyfish. Harry quickly swam to the largest one and swallowed it in one big gulp. Whoop. Gary expected to hear a satisfied, ah, but instead, Harry responded with a terrified or scared, ah. <gasps> Harry was gasping and choking. That was no jellyfish he had swallowed. It was a plastic bag. Harry knew many sea turtles had choked on plastic bags, but he never once thought it would happen to him. Oh my gosh. If you look at their faces, they look really, really scared. Harry desperately tried everything to remove or get rid of the plastic bag, but it just wouldn't come out. He was so scared. Luckily, Gary had just completed his turtle safety class, and by using the Heimlich maneuver, that's what he's doing right here. This is what people do if they're choking. Someone does the Heimlich maneuver. They put their arms around them and help them spit out whatever they're choking on. But you have to be careful. Only grown-ups should do the Heimlich maneuver. 
the plastic bag flew right out from Harry's throat. Whew, that was close, Harry said while catching his breath. How did a plastic bag get in the ocean anyway? How else, Gary answered, the humans. Does anyone know what humans are? If you do, shout it out now. Right, we're humans. Humans are people. So sometimes people throw garbage on the ground or they throw it into the water when they're at the beach. And that is not good at all because that can really hurt the animals. So we have to make sure that if we have some garbage, we throw it in the trash can, or if we have a bottle or a can or some cardboard, we put it in a recycling bin, but we never ever want to throw our trash onto the ground or into the water because that is not good for the animals and it's not good for our planet. Let's keep reading. Well, they need to be more careful to keep their trash out of our homes, Harry said angrily. Gary couldn't agree with him more. So they're very upset because the humans are not taking care of their home. They're hurting the animals. It's not good. Suddenly, Harry's stomach rumbled. All the excitement worked up his appetite. That means it made him hungry. Well, I'm starving, he told Gary. Let's get lunch. Just then a beautiful jellyfish floated by. Look, Harry, just what you asked for, lunch. After what Harry had been through, suddenly jellyfish didn't seem very appealing. That means they didn't look so good to him anymore. I'll pass on jellyfish for a while. Maybe I'll try one of those salty seaweed salads. Gary's face quickly lit up. That means he smiled. Well, I know the perfect place to go, he said excitedly. And with a flick of their flippers, they quickly dove through the crystal blue water, eager or excited to enjoy a nice, delicious, relaxing lunch. The end. So here at the back of the book, we actually have some photographs or real pictures of what the animals in the book look like in real life. So we can take a look real quick at those. So we have a Pacific green sea turtle, a Pacific hawksbill turtle, a day octopus, a banded spiny lobster, an anemone hermit crab and hermit crab anemone. We also have a harlequin shrimp, a clownfish, a jellyfish or sea jelly, and this is marine debris. So, marine debris is just a fancy name for garbage in the ocean. So, here it tells you some ideas of ways that you can help the animals. So, I'm going to get more into that in another video, but I wanted to show you a couple things real quick. So, first of all, I just wanted to show you that this is a plastic bag. This is like what Harry was choking on in the video. So, around here where we live, people don't really get these at the store anymore. We use reusable bags like this. So that way we can use it over and over and over again. But, if you do have any of these bags, you can just use them over and over again. So sometimes I'll put my lunch in here and bring it to work and then I'll use this bag over and over and over again until it gets a hole in it or rips. So you can also use these as garbage bags if you have a small garbage can. Like I use a garbage can like this in my bathroom and I just use these old bags that I have as garbage bags. That way I'm reusing them and I'm not throwing them away. And I'm not tossing them into the ocean where a turtle could choke on them. And the one more thing I wanted to show you. So, you might have seen these before. These are like soda rings. So, soda cans or other cans of like seltzer water, they come with these little rings around them sometimes. These are also not good to throw on the ground or throw into the water because it could hurt animals, right? Their, their heads could get stuck in here or they could get this caught in their throat. So it's very important before you throw these in the garbage 
you should use some scissors and cut the rings so that way no animals can choke. And make sure you ask a grown-up before you use scissors. But with the grown-up's permission, you can cut up these old soda can rings so that way you're helping nature. So that way no birds or turtles or fish can get hurt because of these soda can rings, right? They can't get their heads caught in here or anything like that. So you can actually practice your cutting skills and help out some animals at the same time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can leave a like and feel free to subscribe so you can be notified when I post new videos. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.